Wow, big storm coming. Wait, wait, what are those arrows? Oh wait, they're vectors. Wait a minute. Can I draw a picture of gravity using vectors? That's my breakthrough. Let me show you. What is a vector? A vector is a quantity that is fully described by both magnitude and direction. Some quantities that are represented by vectors are displacement, momentum, velocity, acceleration, and force, such as gravity. Each of these quantities can be represented by a vector field, which is a function whose domain is a set of points in two or three dimensional planes and range is a set of vectors at those points. Here's an example of a vector field that shows a weather map and the wind distribution by a velocity field. On the map, at every point, there is a vector with varying length and direction, which represent the wind patterns. Here are more examples of vector fields. Ocean currents, where the vectors are representing the current patterns, and flow past an airfoil, where the vectors are showing the velocity patterns. To draw a vector field, we need to draw a vector at every point. Let me show you an example. I chose one in 2D as 3D is not easy to visualize and to do by hand. To graph the vector field shown here, we will have to draw a vector at each point. For simplicity, I put some selected points in the corresponding vectors in this table. As we can see here, at point 1, 0, we have a vector of 0, 1, pointing in the y direction. We see the similar pattern at the other points. Even though we have a limited number of points here, we can see that this vector field is rotating counterclockwise around the origin. Ideally, we will have to graph more points to have a complete picture. But when we draw it by hand, this is the process we go through. Now let's apply this to the gravitational vector field. We know Newton's law of gravitation, where r is the distance between two objects with masses of m1 and m2, and g is the gravitational constant. If we can write this in the vector field form, then we will be able to picture gravity. To write Newton's gravitational law in vector form, we will use the position vector r of the object and the unit vector for r. The gravitational force exerted on the second object acts towards the origin, so it is downward, and that is why it is negative. The final form of gravitational force field has three components, and this is what I will graph in Mathematica. Here is the plot of the gravitational vector field on an object at the origin. I graph this by using the vector plot 3D command in Mathematica. Notice how all the vectors are pointing to the origin, and the arrow sizes are decreasing as we move away from the origin. This is a characteristic of the gravitational vector field, which is also called an inverse square field. Here is another view of the same graph and we see the same trend. So we all know what gravity is, and I hope this presentation makes it more clear as it did for me when I had my breakthrough idea. As the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words.